I regret now how I treated you and Bran. I was far too rash. All I think about now is how to get him back. Lugi, take me. What would you want with that pudding of a man? I want to be a married woman and earn my father's respect. The respect of others. Who else would take me as a wife now? But Brand is so... weak-minded. I've been thinking and thinking why Cleaver would want him. It turns out Brand is almost a mage. What? That drunkard? Imagine it. The bandit said he could predict the future or some such. It's like a spirit takes over his body and gives him all kinds of hints. It gives me chills just thinking about it. Bran told me himself that <laughs> I thought he was talking nonsense. He said he had friends among the mages at the tower. Well, he doesn't fit the part at all. Perhaps. And yet, if only it were possible to capture a brave spirit and, and use it to imbue Bran. He'd make such a good man. I'm sure of it. He mentioned an old mage friend of his, Aliquis. Mages know all about spirits and things. a good week. I've sold six men. Oops. Guess what I saw in the refectory after supper yesterday. Rose, did the Meister send you? I didn't take that scroll from the library, and I don't know who did. No, it's not that. Oh, well, whatever happened, I swear it wasn't me. I haven't the slightest notion what you're whimpering about. I wanted to ask you about Brand. Brand? Now that's unexpected. I haven't heard anything about him for three years. Not since he left his grandpa's house. What happened to him? He joined a bandit gang and never had the guts to leave it. He was betrothed to this girl, or maybe she was planning to marry him. But it was no good. He's too scared to propose to her. She's a very persistent young woman. She wants everything to be right and proper between them. And that's the problem. You're a mage, right? Is there any way to make a man braver? An interesting problem, but not my specialty. Now Nikas, on the other hand... Nikas? Yes, Nikas! Brand's grandfather! He's quite an accomplished researcher in the field. It's too bad he doesn't take on apprentices.
Your brand's grandfather? That wimp must have used his last reserves of courage running away from home. What? My grandson is anything but a wimp. Before he left, he declared in no uncertain terms that he intended to be a free man. What happened? He got mixed up with a filthy gang of brigands. As for the rest, it's quite a long story. He fell in love and wanted to marry the lass. But the gang leader stole his bride. I myself stepped in to rescue her. And now, she wants to make Brand a brave man. What a resourceful young maiden. If I were 20 years younger, I'd be competing for her heart myself. Uh, what was her name again? Marlena. Marlena, huh? We must help Bran win the Fair Maiden again. I have an idea. All we need is a drop of fire blood. Do you know about fire spirits? They'd make for an excellent amulet of bravery. On the other hand, my books. What? Never mind the finicky details. Heroes like you generally should Tell you what. Let's tell your fortune instead. Which do you choose? The book or the sword?
the book or the sword, you said. You could have warned me. What kind of fortune teller would I be then? Oh no, it was your magic that chose this path. Did you succeed in obtaining a drop of fireblood? Yes. Here you are. Oh yes, that's it? Wait a few moments while I fashion the amulet. Step aside and watch a genuine mage at work. I didn't expect one could make a magic amulet so quickly. You must be a true master. <laughs> it's quite a good one, too. This should help Brand. I know what my grandson is like. Hey, I remember you. It's not often someone is willing to help a loser like me. I hope Marlena's happy without me. Yeah, it's all about Marlena. Nick has fashioned an amulet of bravery for you. Put it on. Really? Grandpa? Is he... Is he angry with me? No, he's not. Put the amulet around your neck. Okay, I will. Whoa, I'm getting the strangest feeling. That cleaver dared kidnap my girl. Killing was too good for that swine, but at least I'll see justice done for Marlena. Marlena comes first. My girl, so brave, so smart and resourceful. I will marry her. I can't see why I hesitated before. What if she gives you the cold shoulder again? You will come to the wedding. I want you to see how happy I can make her. Standing here in the blazing sun. Could we at least leave the bridge and find some shade? Marlena? I told you the real brand was so much more than he appeared. My dear girl, you've always been the only one to believe in me. You can see for yourself how he's changed. Ah, uh, I, I didn't mean that. What I meant to say is that he's become the man he always was, deep inside. It sounds incredible, but he gave me a new ring, not the one I gave you. He even brought me a gift, an Illyrian chick. Wherever did he get such a thing? I have no idea what to do with such a rare bird. Here, why don't you take it? A chick? For me? Yes, please accept it. We don't have any money, but an Illyrian chick is, is worth a small pile of gold. Also, thank you. If it weren't for you, I'd still be a sniveling milksop. May Elihu watch over you. <laughs> <laughs> 